So today I'm going to be showing you guys my SEO content calendar sheet and how I actually use it. Um, this is how the actual framework works. So for anybody that is actually interested on how it actually picks um, certain keywords, because it's a little bit more um, advanced than just a content calendar. But basically we've got like uh, bottom of the funnel keywords, which is like buy organic dress. So somebody that's searching that, they're at the decision stage so they're ready to purchase we then have like middle of the funnel so like eco-friendly clothing reviews and something like that that's uh, the consideration so they might look at two or three different review uh, uh, reviews and then they might purchase and then we've also got awareness stage so that's like top of the funnel now the reason why it's important for a website to have all of this is because in some cases you need to demonstrate that you are an expert from top to bottom of the actual funnel and that's when Google actually rewards you because you've actually got good content you've went into detail about every single step um, and that's when you potentially jump from let's say position 15 to position 4 um, so just bear that in mind it's not always just about the decision stage of some of these um, when when you're doing like keyword research you need to think of all the different steps right hey very quickly if you want results like this dental practice for example we took the website from zero monthly visits in november and they are now getting over 750 monthly visits through to their website they're actually able to generate their own inquiries for the business and they aren't relying on third party um, agencies to generate them leads like they were before or this law firm that we were able to take from 1,100 to just over 2,000 monthly visits through to their website as you can see from the graph or this e-commerce store where we were able to grow them from 7,500 to just over 30,000 monthly visits to their website and it's generating a lot of sales through to their e-com store. If you want results like that, make certain to check out casualdash.com. The link is in the description. Fill out the form, see if my team can help. If I feel like SEO isn't suitable for your business, I can also guide you on where you should be spending your marketing budget. But back to the video. And then obviously with your internal LinkedIn, once you then have got obviously more top of the funnel awareness style articles, you then can internally link to middle of the funnel, or even you can do internal links straight to the bottom of the funnel as well. So just bear that in mind. So now this is what the actual content pipeline looks like. So this is actually really good when it comes to um, trying to build like a topical map as well, because this kind of does the, the stage um, of the funnel and it also, um, uh, it, you can also pick the, the silo and stuff like that as well, right? So, for example, if we wanted to rank for, let's say, um, teeth whitening near me, right? Let's say we're a dent dental practice, teeth whitening near me, right? What this will do, it, as soon as you start typing in the actual article, um, if it is actually, if it understands um, which stage of the article or which stage of the funnel it is, it will tell you if it's bottom of the funnel, middle of the funnel or top of the funnel. So we could do something like, for example, um, we could do like a comparison. So let's say um, the Invisa, or actually we'll, we'll stick with teeth whitening. We'll do um, Apple teeth whitening versus Samsung teeth whitening. Now, <clears throat> obviously there isn't a, a product called Apple teeth whitening or Sam, Samsung um, team, teeth whitening, but that's just like an example. Um, so you can do like comparison pages. Um, we could do something along the lines of does teeth whitening hurt? Um, and then it will say that this is top of the funnel. Um, so we've got everything here. Um, what I would recommend for this is obviously not every time it's going to get it right. Um, in some cases, it will come back as being unknown. So for example, if I was to do, um, let's think of something, can Kazra teeth whitening um, hurt my teeth? If it's something like that, it's probably going to come back with like being unknown because it just it, it's not it's not super smart. It's probably like eighty percent of the way there. So just bear that in mind when you are using this. Um, again, it's a free tool. 
And also, I don't know if I did mention this, but if you do want the access to this tool, the link is down in the description. Once you actually want to use this tool, um, or once you get the link to it, just make certain you click on File and then make a copy so you can actually edit it and stuff. Now, what I always recommend when it comes to like topical maps and and building like um, a good user journey for somebody that's visiting your website is typically speaking you're going to want um, less bottom of the funnel pages, you're going to want more middle of the funnel, and you're going to want way more top of the funnel. Um, so what I would be doing here is, for example, I would be having like different types of teeth whitening. Um, so we could do, we could, if we go on Google, for example, we could do teeth whitening versus veneers, right? So that could be like a, a middle of the funnel um, page. So if I just get rid of that, I'll, I'll do a live topical map using this actual sheet. Uh, we could do bleaching. Um, let's see. We could do versus teeth whitening because that's two different things. Teeth whitening versus teeth um, cleaning. And then we've also got um, versus scaling. So teeth whitening versus scaling. And let's see what else we can come up with. Teeth whitening versus strips. Um, so we've got one, two, one, two, three, four, five, middle of the funnel. And then we're gonna do something like um how much is teeth whitening? Um, so that's like more middle of the funnel. Does teeth whitening hurt? It's top of the funnel. Um, let's think of some other teeth. Does teeth whitening work? That, that's probably going to be um, top of the funnel again. Does teeth whitening damage teeth? And as you can see, we're starting to build out our topical map. Um, does teeth whitening, does teeth whitening powder work? That could be a complete separate article. Um, but as you can see, we've quickly started to build out our topical authority. Um, does teeth whitening, we'll do one more. Does teeth whitening work on crowns as well? So then once you then have got all of your articles, right? So for, for example, let's, let's say for, um, we wanted to actually rank our bottom of the funnel page for teeth whitening um, Manchester, right? Now, one thing that I will say is that this is going to go to unknown because teeth whitening Manchester is kind of just like service slash um, the actual location. But just bear that in mind, this is actually deemed as bottom of the funnel because it's location based. Somebody that's searching teeth whitening Manchester is ready to actually book in. Um, the next stage is obviously setting up our silos, right? So I've just set up like five, uh, yeah, five different silos, but we would want to be doing this for every single service that we actually provide, right? So for example, if we go to um, silo A, this would be a part of our teeth whitening silo, right? And then if we just click done here, um, we'll, we'll just click apply to all. Now, obviously, if as a den as a dentist, you might actually have a variety of different services that you actually provide, right? So, for example, the next might or the next silo that you end up using this sheet for, it might be something along the lines of Invisalign. Invisalign um, silo, right? So you would then want to do the exact same that we've just done for the teeth whitening silo for your next um, service that you actually provide. So for example, if you were doing like HVAC, you would do all of this for HVAC, then you would do maybe um, AC units as, as the next silo. So for example, I would then grab this, I would then change this to Invisalign Manchester, and then you can obviously do Invisalign versus, um, let's say Invisalign versus Smile Direct. Um, and then obviously you, you're gonna wanna then set up all of your silos here as well. So if we just go all the way, click and drag. 
So that's our teeth whitening silo done. And then we've also got like our Invisalign silo down here. You might also do like, let's, let's just add in like one or two more in the Invisalign does Invisa, Invisalign her. And again, that's the um, Invisalign silo, right? So then now once you've actually got this, we've actually got the right content check mark, right? Now, the reason why I've included this is sometimes some of you guys might be using keyword or keyword research tools like Ahrefs and it sometimes doesn't take care of like the duplication, right? So for example, Teeth Whitening Manchester and Teeth Whitening or Teeth Whitening Dentists Manchester, that's just one page. You don't need to create two individual pages for that. So that's why I've actually included the checkbox. So you can then obviously spot check everything. Once you're happy with everything, you can then check it off. And then once it once you've done that, we then have got the next section. So this is actually, um, this is basically, you can send this through to like a content writer or like a VA, let's say, or whoever's actually dealing with the content. And then you've actually got like the keyword here. Um, you've got the stage of the funnel. So they already kind of know like how to internally link. Now, the reason why I've actually included like the top of the funnel, middle of the funnel and bottom of the funnel is because it gives a good guidance on how you should internally link. It also takes care of like all the silo structure as well. So you're never going to end up messing your internal links too much if you follow this actual sheet and how it's all laid out. So it is all strategically laid out. Um, now, if again, if, like, like what I mentioned, you're going to need to do this for every single service. So for example, if we search up um, dentists in Manchester, and if we go to City Dentist, right, um, let's take a look at their actual services. So if we click on treatments, right, so they've got like general dentistry, so that would be one silo. They've got um, hygienist services, they've got dental implants, so all of these basically would be their own individual bottom of the funnel, middle of the funnel articles, and then top of the funnel articles, and then you just want to internally link that all back up um, and create that topical authority. So again, if you guys have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like and the link for the sheet is all is just down in the description. Make certain to just make a copy of it. Um, and as always, if you guys um, do want a free growth strategy call for your website, make sure to check the link down below or head over to casra-.com and fill in the contact form. Thanks.